Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is the regenerative circuit. Let us understand what is regenerative. Regenerative means basically recovering of the end. So let us understand the setup here, then we can go to the circuit diagram. Here you can see a double acting cylinder. The pump is pumping the fluid and it is going to port A which is the piston side and the fluid which is here on the piston rod side goes through the return line. Normally through the return line it goes through the and to the tank. Means the energy which is in the fluid on the piston rod side gets wasted. But instead of getting wasted what we can do the return line we can connect with a pipe like pipe P, we have connected the return line to the pressure line because of that the energy which is there in the fluid on the piston rod side can be utilized and more energy is available to push the piston. So this is only possible if we connect the return line to the pressure pipe on the piston side. So, if this is piston side which is having more energy and this is the pump so here there is fluid but with less energy but some energy is there so instead of wasting what we will do through return line we will connect it to the pressure line so that energy is not wasted and it is utilized so let us see it in a circuit diagram this is a double acting cylinder. This is a 4x3 solenoid operated DC valve. This is pressure relief valve. This is the filter and this is oil tank. If you can see in the middle position or the central position, the pressure line and this is the return line. The return line is connected to the pressure line. So during that stroke where the fluid is going to the port A, if this is port A and this is port B, then the port B, the liquid which is coming from the piston rod side, goes and gets connected to the pressure line and the piston moves towards right. Okay, So the fluid enters from A on the piston side and the piston 